After installing WordPress, the next thing you're going to want to do is customize WordPress by installing a theme you like, installing plugins that extend the functionality of the core WordPress installation, as well as um, making some customizations to plugins, headers, footers, themes, etc. So the first thing we want to tackle is themes. So if you go to your WordPress dashboard and click on Appearance and then Themes, you will see that the 2010 theme is installed by default and it looks like this. Now just to give you a little bit of background, WordPress web pages are comprised of four basic parts. There's the header, the footer, the sidebar, and the content. And what happens is on the server side, the server actually uses those four pieces, assembles all the parts um, on the fly, and then renders the page. So um, what we're going to do now is install a theme. And there are a few different ways to install themes. And I'm going to show them to you. The first way is to click on this tab called Install Themes. And then let's just search for um, something. We're going to look for, um, let's see, one with a left sidebar. And then let's find a theme. And then let's just preview a theme. That's what our website will look like once we activate it. So let's, uh, I don't like that one, so let's let's pick this one. We're going to just say install. And install now. And then activate. And we'll take a look at what that looks like by reloading our page. You can see that everything's changed, even though I haven't changed a single thing with respect to content or copyrights or links or comments or anything like that. So you can see how the theme changed. We will go back. I'll show you also how to go back to a theme you had already previously installed. All you do is go down here under Available Themes, click Activate, and then reload your page, and that's what it looks like. So that's way number one. Install themes, and then find one. Another way is to upload a theme by clicking on Browse, and then going and finding a theme that you've downloaded And it's got to be a zip file. So I'll pick Lemon Twist and then click on Install Now and then Activate. And then let's go reload our page. And that's what it looks like. Okay. Let's go back and reactivate the one that we, the, the basic one, and make sure that it loads. Ah, good. The last way, the last basic way to do this is to use an FTP client like FileZilla, log in, go to your domain. find WP content and then themes and then what you want to do is take oops go back to my computer find a theme that I want to install and we'll install Genesis so the easiest way to do that is to drag this unzipped folder over to the themes folder and wait for it to load. And you'll see that there are 
or 50 or so files left. When those are done, we can then go back to our dashboard. Let's go back to our dashboard, reload this page, and you see Genesis here now, right here. Activate that. And let's go reload our page. And that's what it looks like. So pretty, pretty basic stuff. Three ways. One is to go find a theme within WordPress. Two is to upload a zipped file that contains your theme files. And number three is to FTP an unzipped folder that contains your themes or that contains the theme you want. Okay, that's it.